guys welcome back to my channel it's Lori from she of three angels I have for you a Hobby Lobby haul so my main goal today was paper but I think I got a little carried away but you guys let me know what you think I don't think there's ever too carried away when you're doing craft hauls but let's go ahead and dig in and see what I got the main purpose of my trip was to get, let me see if I can find it before I flash it at you guys. Was to get, sorry, more of this really pretty metallic paper. And this is the loose paper. It's by Paper Studios, so everything was 50% off. And this one's called Gold or Me Metallic. But it's this really pretty metallic. Can you guys see that? And it's actually kind of thin. I didn't remember it being this thin, but it is a thinner piece of paper. Um, but I have some projects in mind for this, and I can't wait to, to use this. So I got gold. And then I found this really pretty gold. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really a pretty gold color. And this one is called Pyrite Metallic. Did I say that right, guys? Pyrite Metallic. But this is like a really pretty darker gold. And it's got a lot more shimmer. If you compare those two together, one's a little bit more yellow and actually one's more golden tone than the other. So I got two of those, and while I was looking, of course, I ran into a really pretty bronze color. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this one is called Antique Gold. Looks kind of bronze to me, but I will take Antique Gold, so I'll put that down there so you can see the differences between the colors. And I found this one, which is very coppery. You can see how pretty that is. And this one is called Copper B Metallic. So I'll lay that on top of there. And this one was super pretty and dark, and it's like a bronze. It's like a dark bronze color. And this camera is not doing this paper justice, but it's really pretty. And it's called a bronze metallic. And I found two, I think two different shades. Maybe I overdid it on that one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, this is kind of like a champagne metallic color but it is called Sand Metallic, so I thought that one was really pretty. I just kind of wanted to stock up on these metallics because, you know, when the paper goes on sale, then there was this one, and this one's Tin Star Metallic, so even like a lighter champagne color is how I would describe it, even though this camera is not picking that up. So there was that one. And this one is actually different than that last one that I just showed you. It might be a, a tinge darker. And this one is silver or metallic. So I got two of everything. And these two look very similar. There's just minor differences between these two. I did find one sheet of this really pretty pearl. And it's called Mountain Rose Metallic. It's like a pink pearl pearl. It's really pretty and I like that too. And of course, how can you not go and buy the gold foiled pineapples? And this is on that it's called Acid in a Gold Pineapple Vellum. So this is the gold pineapple vellum and I got two sheets of that. I thought that was really pretty. So that was it for my paper collection as far as the loose paper
I don't know what got into me because I ended up buying some books, some cardstock books. This is one that I got. It was $9.99 and it was 50% off. And it has like all of these colors in it. And I was going to see if I can show you. Let me just gently cut this open so we can see what the papers look like. Let me move these. I'm going to move these out of the way, guys. And so that way I can do a flip through for you. So here's this. So if you see, they all kind of have that brushed look. And it says there's three sheets of each. I really like that old antique look. Sorry, the sticker's still sticking to it. And I like how some of these are two-toned on the corners. But I thought those were some pretty colors and a good addition to my paper stock collection. So there's that one. And I did get some 6x6 paper pads. I like this one. It has 48 sheets. There's 12 designs and 4 sheets each. And this was $5.99, so it was 50% off of that. And this one's really kind of cute because it has that antique look. Okay, let me do this again. Get the sticker off so I can show you guys. So that one has like bird cages on it, which is kind of cool. This one's kind of green with a chandelier on it. That one's cute. It's got like a little pink bow at the top. Another bird cage. This one has lines on it, which is really pretty. You could write somebody a note on that. There's that one. I don't know if you guys can see those with it being way down there. There's that one. This one looks like some wood that's been painted. This one you can cut into little cards and put something on it. Super cute. Oh, I like this one. It has the butterflies on it. It almost looks like it's been speckled and painted. I really like that. I wish I was that talented. I would really like to do learn how to do that. And there's that one with the time clocks or the clocks and the birds and the bird cages. So there's that one. And I did pick up this one. Let me cut this one open for you guys so you can see what it looks like. I'm sorry, guys. I should have had this ready for you guys. But this is called Romance Novel 6x6 Paper, and it was $5.99, so it was 50% off by Prima. And this one is really pretty, too. Let me see. There's some alphabet. Ooh, that one's really pretty, all those colors. There's another black and beige with letters, alphas on it. I thought that this would be like a really pretty, pretty um, flip book using these. And look, it gives you like a template for a envelope. That is super cute. Now I'm more in love with this thing. You could fussy cut that out and turn it into an envelope. Super cute. Some more labels and there's some tabs that you could use. Cut out and make the use the tabs. Another envelope I see right there. Super cute. That gives me ideas to distress the outer edges of my envelopes. I like that. I'm getting some ideas. 
There's another envelope. I really like this book. A little typewriter. Some tags. Some paper. Ooh, I super love this book. So if you guys like this book, it's the Romance Novel Collection. 6 by 6 paper pad by Prima. So add that to your wish list if you like it, guys. It's really pretty. I kind of want to move these in the frame for you guys to see. And last but not least for the paper, I, with my giveaway, am planning on making, and I haven't decided yet, a flip book or a pocket letter, um, something, but I have a theme in mind, and I'm really excited to do it. But I've got to show you this paper, because this paper is involved in that theme. This is embossed foil paper pad. It does only come with 24 sheets of 6x6 paper and it is $5.99. This is um, special materials and great for adding texture, flair, and more. So I want to show you guys this. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? That gold wave. And there's this green. I hope this is coming across as pretty as it looks. So there's four sheets of each. There's another gold polka dot. Super cute. There's a blue. Boy, that ceiling fan sure is coming in loud and clear on this paper, isn't it? There's a silver. And there's this really pretty hot pink with like a Damascus design behind it. So this was $5.99 and 50% off of that. So that was it for my paper stash that I wanted to build. And let me go ahead and show you the stickers I found. So the Paper Studios stickers and paper were on sale, but not the washi or anything like that. I still ended up finding some stickers on clearance, so I got this one, putting it in there upside down. But it is a metallic border. There we go. And it's $1.50, so it was still 50% off of the regular price. It was just being clearanced out. And I think that this was the last one left, so I wanted to snag it up because this will be used in my Happy Planner. For my month of December so there was that one and then I did find this super cute Santa one right here and this one was a dollar 25 on clearance regularly 249 so it was still 50% off but um, there was only one of these left so I wanted to make sure I snagged both of those and um, put those in my stash I decided to go ahead and um, pick up some of these bows. Now normally I can go ahead and make these, but the idea of getting them for $1.50 and having them made and I get eight in a package, it's just really appealing because it's, it's quick and easy to, to add those to your um, pocket letters or flip books. So, um, they're just little burlap type bows and they're the tiny ones so I picked up two of those and of course with that vellum paper I decided to pick up some of the pineapple um, stickers the golden ones and those were um, 99 cents because they were 50% off and this last one most of you who know me will get this but I couldn't pass up these and I don't have any yet and I don't know why I haven't picked up any but these were again 99 cents because they were 50% off and it looks like I get six seven eight nine ten I get 20 of them yeah 20 pieces it does say that they're all roosters but I am a, a chicken fan we have um, backyard chickens so we have eight of them we get fresh eggs every day I've never bought 
a dozen eggs for two years, so um, I had to get these. And I did find a sticker book um, or a sticker pack. It's the Faith Sticker Pack. It was $5.99, but it was on 50% off, and it is by the Paper Studio. Um, here's kind of like what it shows is inside. It's stuck together, and I put my razor away so I'm not able to open it up but I figured if I just show you like this you guys can see it maybe if I see if we can get some this one right here says may the Lord bless you and keep you give thanks guardian angel serve the Lord that one's really pretty the faith one right there I like that one so um, I wanted to pick this up, and if there were two of them, I probably would have picked up two. It shows there's over 175 pieces, but um, I really like this book, so it'll go with my other inspirational sticker books. And last but not least, the grand finale. I broke down and used my 40% off coupon and bought me the bow maker. And I had Pam from Pam's Life. She's punched out a bunch of these for me and sent them to me. And I'm like, man, I'd really like to have, um, I was thinking having, you know, sending her some paper and have her punch them out for me. But then I'm like, what the heck am I doing that for? I'm going to spend more money shipping her paper, her shipping it back to me when I can go ahead and use my 40% off coupon and get my own bow maker. So... I went ahead and bought the Martha Stewart. It says it's an extra large punch. I think this is the same size that Pam has. So I went ahead and picked it up because I knew I was going to use it and I need to add it to my punch set. So that is it for my Hobby Lobby haul. If you guys like what you see, and maybe I'm hoping you add some stuff to your wish list. There's some good stuff here. I'm excited to get crafting with this stuff. Um, this is going to be it after, um, as far as stocking up on my, my stuff, because I, I really need to put a halt on doing my hauls and use the stuff that I have. So I think I'm pretty settled right now, and I have a lot of good stuff that I can use on my pocket letters, and if not, I'm going to try really hard to make them instead of going out and spending more money that I don't need to spend. So... If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and if you would like to subscribe to my channel and see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below, and go ahead and leave a positive comment so I can reply back to you. I appreciate your support, and don't forget, I have a 100 plus giveaway going on right now in one of my videos, and I'm not going to tell you which one, but um, I have not marked it. Um, as a giveaway nor have I done it as open it is one of my hauls that is going to be my clue to you guys so have a good day and I will see you in my next video